Yo, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy Trey back again. Hit you with a video. This video right here comes out of Chicago. And a lot of us know about Chicago for uh, the Chicago Bulls, deep dish style pizzas, and all the goons and the word lacking. All that originates out of what they call Chirac, aka Chicago. But little did the people know in the hood that one of their top so called hitters or goons or whatever you have you like that's something to be praised was called walking uh down the street one day and a few guys from his neighborhood remember him from the past and what they remember from the past is not what they see right now in the future and they pretty much stopped and talked to the guy asked him a few questions he answered it the best way he could but at the same time you could tell from just looking at him that the way he was dressed some was off because no typical goon dress like that unless they do it behind closed doors now i'm not here to celebrate violence the goon the gang culture none of that because i don't give a damn about none of that matter of fact i think all that's stupid to die over any damn color that uh none of us even made you feel what i'm saying so i don't understand why people put their lives on the line just to for for color you know that's that's, that's kid stuff to me you know if you're gonna put in some work put in some work for green you know what i'm saying if you're gonna die over some make sure it's green some money or something but for it's just you know acting crazy over what set you claim this and that this and that you know i done been affiliated uh with people that was inside those games but for it's me ever really trying to be in one uh, a lot of my good friends was one a lot of them you know dead prison whatever else but the same thing it just never really was for me because i kind of overstood overstand if you will that it's senseless to murder another fellow brother or sister just because they have on red or just because they have on blue just because they have on purple or green that is stupid but anyway you catch these guys basically grilling this uh young man in the streets and i'm not gonna say he's a young man because he's evidently he's kind of older for him to be putting in work that long ago and still be able to walk around years later and it was some pretty interesting things what they was asking him basically it was asking him you know like what caused the change and then they were trying to say also like uh we heard about you having some of these uh fellow goons out here because a lot of these people that you thinking are real straight up men or not straight up men a lot of these women that you thinking rock one way mean they goes one way they really bisexual lesbians you know what i'm saying well uh well lesbian is strictly you know just women but bisexual you know what i'm saying that's pretty much what we're dealing with more and more in this day and time but at the same time, this guy, he was pretty much out in the open with it. Now, whether you can agree with him or not, or whether you, you know, like what he does or not, it's really not none of our concern. But at the same time, you have to respect the man for the simple reason that he's not out there killing anyone anymore. You know, I don't know. I don't agree with him far as the things that he's trying to do. But like I said, if he want to be gay, if he want to be a homosexual, if he want to be transgender whatever you go right ahead you know to each day on but i don't you I don't, I don't see how you can leave one thing you know what i'm saying then pick up another thing that's just almost as bad if that's what you want to call it and the reason why i say as bad is because the stigma and the, i mean let's be let's be honest let's face it the kind of situations that people are facing in these communities you know the last thing we need right now is a bunch of feminine men running around when we are in this condition that we are in that we find ourselves in if anything you know just be a stand-up guy you don't have to be no goon you don't have to be this you don't have to be that you know what i'm saying but if you want to be a homosexual you want to participate in that lgbt thing go right ahead it's your body do what you want to you see what i'm saying but the killing part about the whole video was this point right here when they were saying uh well you used to be a top hitter you used to be a killer pretty much like you just going off blowing people heads off and these guys pretty much were like relishing it in that they pretty much like loving the fact how this guy used to be you feel what i'm saying and why would you give a man praise for blowing another man's heads off can't you see how lost as a people that we are but it's very crazy that you will have these people who by the way sound very ignorant because only a fool would congratulate another man for killing other people and a lot of them people probably innocent people we all uh, we know how the story goes in the streets we know how people get down or they lay down we know about the so-called so-called quote-unquote tough men that we never would think would be gay homosexuals or snitches or whatever else you see what i'm saying because when you look at them you're supposed to see what a, a tough guy alpha male but a lot of these guys are 
kittens. Now, I'm not saying that this guy won't go kill somebody. A baby will kill somebody if you put a gun in his hand. You see what I'm saying? But does that make that baby a gangster or a goon? You feel what I'm saying? Just because your lack of respect for another human being life, it makes you hard. It makes you worthy of praise. You know, I don't understand that concept. Maybe one of you all can help me in the comment section to understand that. How these guys would sit up here and basically tell this man, remind this man of what he used to be. And evidently, he must be traumatized by it because look how he turned out. Because I'm sure that all those skeletons are, are hunting him. All those spirits, if, if he did, if they is, if he is uh, like they say he was, I'm sure that all those spirits uh, basically are still hunting him. So maybe that's why he uh, changed his life over to try to become... You know, a homosexual. Maybe he wanted to escape that whole thing. But the killer part about it, when he said, I won't give no names out, when the guys was grilling him about who the guys was that he was sleeping with, these goons that's in the street, these goons that we see on TV popping their little guns and shit, threatening each other, you know what I'm saying, to the real gangsters coming around, the, the police and the army and everything, then they run and tuck their tail. But when it comes to killing your own brother or sister, you don't have no problem with that. And then you get congratulated, make music about it. Hell, you might go on to Hollywood, you see what I'm saying? But at the same time, this goes to show you the state of confusion, the state of ignorance that are in our communities every day. And this is just not Chicago. This is in your Houston. This is in your New York, your Baltimore's, your Los Angeles, San Diego's, Florida. You know, it's everywhere. You feel me? Now, back to what I said in the beginning. I don't agree with, you know, his choice of lifestyle, but that's on him just like anybody else. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same time, I am glad the fact that he got out that life and he don't want to talk about it. He don't congratulate it. He don't say, well, yeah, that's the thing to do because evidently something must have touched him. Now, he reacted to it the way he reacted to it, just like if you would have been out there in those streets for all those years also. And, and what just say if you didn't have a epiphany one day or, or who's to say if your conscience just embodied you one day till you just couldn't pretty much live with yourself and you find yourself going crazy ain't no telling what you or i might do number one i wouldn't put myself in that situation i advise you not to do the same thing but at the same time it's very crazy that these people will be out here grilling this guy and pretty much trying to turn him back to what he used to be and he's saying i don't want to be that i don't i don't want to talk about it it's nothing to really pretty much glorify it. but if you would see the main thing that those, those those guys said in the videos, and we know people like this from the neighborhood that would throw it off, or some that was homosexual. Hell, we all know them. They would never get messed with. They can walk anywhere. They can walk to the store 11 o'clock at, uh, at night. They can walk through any neighborhood. Well, nobody mess with them by themselves because they already know. If you messing with Chuck, or you messing with uh, Sweet Tim, or you messing with Bear Me Bob, uh, you better come correct or you're going to get left. You see what I'm saying? Because if you're going over there talking to Bear Me Bob with all that foolishness, like you're going to stop him from coming through your quote-unquote fake hood, you're going to have some problems. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be number of blood and shell casings everywhere. You know, and it smells like burnt bacon and ass. That's all it's going to be. And, and the reason why it's going to be smelling like, smelling like ass is because you're going you're gonna to be done got shot in your ass. That's the reason why. So a lot of these guys are very throw it off. But a lot of them, I haven't seen the homosexuals where they get mad respect. And a lot of them homosexuals can fight while you all laughing and stuff. I mean, I done seen some beat the brakes off a few guys. You see what I'm saying? I done seen one get jumped and whooped two guys. A little skinny one. Well, he was throwing them things like Floyd Mayweather was running was running from a mountain lion. That's how fast he was throwing them damn hands. You feel what I'm saying? And guess what? Did nobody else mess with that man? I done seen some walk around with box cutters. I done seen some walk around with aids and everything else so if you risk trying to fight one and you get some blood on you hey that's your, that's your ass they'll let you know look i got aids and i'm gonna bite the shit out you you feel what i'm saying like, just like we seen the video the other day of the uh the tranny in the store that got caught stealing by these koreans that he gonna threaten the koreans with an aids bite with a vicious aids bite you see what i'm saying so trust me they're they're not uh scary especially the ones that walk on the street like that in broad daylight you catch them like that, you better watch out because trust me, if you ask them about their past and they willing to divulge the information up and uh, tell you, you'll find out some strange things that these guys are not to be played with. And also, that street life is nothing to be glorified. And like I said, you know, I would, I want to know one thing. I, I ask you all a question. Would you rather see this man being gay, being involved in this lifestyle, or would you rather see him walking down the street with a hoodie on or, or with a mask on blowing somebody's head off that's something to think about let me know in the comment section what you all think it's been your boy trey uh 
I'm gonna leave a link to the video in the description box. And hey, let's let's talk about it. You know, which one would you rather see? You rather see him in this state, or would you rather see him out there being a real goon, a killer, and killing people? Let me know what you think. If you like, subscribe. I'm out.